Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another action video on this channel and episode 81 of Retro Friday. This has been voted on by the patrons once again, so thank you so much for voting for this. And this is once again Tiara, we are finally back. Hi to all of the queens. And this is Lie or Lies, um, there's different translations. But this is part of their absolute first album, if I remember correctly, I was told. Um, so this is like, kind of like baby Tiara, right? They just debuted kind of. Um, so, let's get into this. We have part one, which is basically the normal music video. And then we have part two, which is somewhat like a dance performance music video thing. Uh, there's also a ballad version, I'm aware of that, but I'm not gonna watch that one today. Um, yeah, that's about it for information. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I post daily cap operations on this channel. I react to all kinds of comebacks, but also to special things. I have special series like this, Retro Friday or others. You can check those out on my channel and if you're interested in more or if you like my reactions, make sure to hit the subscribe button to not miss anything in the future. Thank you so much. And now a special shout out to my Patreon lineup of June still. I'm recording this on the last day of June, which is the 30th. Uh, thank you so much for the continued support to all of you guys. And special shout out goes out to Forder, to Ayatna, Korean, Big Minion and Mir Subits. Thank you guys. And now uh, we start with part one, of course. And thanks to Manu once again, as per usual, to give me um, information and also the member overviews, right? So we have part one and part two here. Um, just so you can see them here for a second. And part two. And I will be putting them both on my second screen so I can actually look at them whenever it's time to look at them, right? Um, and maybe they help me. Because honestly, this is like an old, old tiara. I'm probably not going to get the members very right. But let's get started with Lies part one. Um, this has subtitles, which is cool. Never heard this song, of course. <clears throat> I was not ready for that vocal. Oh my god, the way they, they write that name, T Aura. Like an eye in there? What? <laughs> What's going on there? Is that their original intent to write the name? Is that... Oh, I wonder, actually. Now that it makes me think, is the... What's the word? The little, like, bar in between the T and the A? Is that just a tilted eye without the dot? And that's why you pronounce it T. I don't know, man. <laughs> Who was that? The vocal. Soyeon? Hey! I like the dance. 2009, man. 2009. Oh, he was lying. I see. Toxic relationship, huh? So from, let's see, I think that it, this is Soyeon in center, but I'm not sure, man. I have to focus in the song so far. She's kind of scared, huh? He still went for it. Is it only me or does the dance almost not fit to the song? Like the song is so slow and chill, but then the dance... I, I guess part two will show us more, but yeah, it feels a bit hyphy at times. Love the song though, so far. Hmm. For sure, toxic relationship. But she can't leave him. Hmm. I yo, I'm not gonna lie, members are really hard in this one. They're really hard. Like give me a second there. Like I think that this is Gion here. That is like smashing the flowers on the man's body there. 
But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Onjung too, so... I don't know, man, but I think it's Jion. I think her eye is there. I <laughs> before it's human. She's really tall, so I'm assuming it's probably Jion. The girlfriend is human, right? She really likes them, you can tell. <laughs> hey, this dance. Oh, I love I love Tiara for that, right? This is a dance that feels sexy to some extent, but also is just just so sassy and cool. Like what's this move even? Showing some fight there, but it's just cool. Old school Tiara rope is always so nice. Before the Paul Hua Yang era. Some Bogam rhymes, I think. <laughs> We're back to dancing in the club. Of course, we have seen that in a lot of the other music videos. I always love to see it. It's just something we don't really see much these days uh, in K-pop music videos. Sometimes we do see like dance scenes, but it's usually just focused on members. It's not uh, combined with acting, right? So here is like one member in an acting environment with an actual acting story in the music video, and the actors, right? So the, the member here and the guy. They go to the disco, so that's kind of like what I really find fascinating about Tiara. They just kind of... Uh, it's, it's not that deep, right? But they just have a disco setting and, and they use this to an extent where it feels still really realistic and relatable as someone, I guess a normal person in a way, that is not an idol, right? These like overblown disco scenes where it's only about the members and like their that she's just having a choreo shot there and it's like all like this perfect world the way it looks it's obviously like only catered towards them and uh not something you would ever encounter yourself but this is something like people just dancing on kind of vibing is yeah relatable Ooh. Ooh. that was a switch up the high note at who's that Yo! You go, girl! She finally stood up to him. The voice is interesting. Um, I would say this is Soyeon. Soyeon and, and Boham kind of there, but at least from what we see on screen i'm not so sure who's actually singing but this interesting voice i believe might here be soyon this here is Cody maria <laughs> love this rap it's multiple members too from what I remember, that human was one of the two rappers, right? And I think Unjung the other one, I think. So, correct me if I'm wrong, though. Like in early eras. And that then means in this song as well. But hey, correct me, please. Uh, I might be wrong with a lot of things in this one, because I'm not gonna lie, they do look quite different and very young, of course. So, it's not easy for me. I'm, not, I'm just saying that up front, right? Uh, but there was Tiara's Lie, part one. So basically the Korean name is literally just Kojimal, which means lie. Um, so it's not lies. I guess you could... S it's probably hard to distinguish between singular and plural here. But I'm pretty sure it's just a singular. But then again, the story talks about a lot of different lies that the person and that guy in particular there 
in the story went through and and like committed so then again it, it is actually lies in the story so i don't know man it's just called lie though i'm gonna use lie for the title and whenever i talk about this uh first impressions on the song i would say that it's old school tiara it definitely fits your style it's um very vocal driven a lot of deep husky vocals in the song which i really enjoy personally so we really like that some high note ad libs that were really really good like chef's kiss good i uh, really love the dance moves so i can't wait to see some more of the dance here and it feels like this was a video that was filmed where they were having much more fun so i'm not so sure if this is like a serious dance video most likely it's not but we might see more glimpses of the choreo right so uh, i would love to see that and yeah let's get into this one uh, before i have some closing thoughts at the end overall i do like the song quite a bit though it is classified probably um it's my assumption here of course i would say it's kind of like a pop ballad uh very mysterious dark and kind of slow pop ballad but um hey it works i like it a lot so let's go one thing i want to check out quickly is okay never mind this video is pretty much the same length as part one now opening part two this should be easier for for members but hey no guarantee it's very fast cut so it doesn't help but Man. Yeah, I, I talked about this in, um, I think yesterday was the video, so <laughs> funnily enough, this video, when what I'm talking about, came out on the 30th of June, and I'm talking about the Heejin from Luna, a vivid reaction, uh, and my first episode of Cruel to the Moon, and she had a lot of these hip, hip and hop moves in the choreo, right, which is kind of like having these little hops in the choreo while moving, and I talked about where uh, Ghost Day does that quite a lot as well, and I really like those moves. And now I see this here as well, and I remember that I think Tiara had also done that before. I don't particularly know if they did it very often. I actually did not pay much attention to that particular move in Tiara choreos. I don't think they necessarily did that often, but they're doing it right now in this choreo, and I really enjoy it. Um, so just kind of like as transition and like filler moves, they have like this this hopping. Gonna try to point it out, I guess. Even even while they're standing like this thing, right? That still kind of counts to that, but it's a little bit more in between. But I love that. <laughs> Wait, I have seen that dance before. I've seen it dance before somewhere. Hmm. Is there a similar dance somewhere else in K-pop? From like a much, much more popular song? Or is this actually what people used to dance a lot? The hours lie. That would be great if that's the case, but I don't know. Because I've definitely seen it before. Like this series of moves. And then, yeah. Hmm. The vocal though. So is that just Soyeon then? I'm assuming, I guess. If we if we go by who's on screen while they're singing, uh, if, if we can go by that. But if that's something where they're accurate here, then uh, that was Soyeon, I think. <laughs> Who this? Oh, Jian? Yeah, Jian, I guess. Her voice is very soft here. Not much power that she put in there. Kyuri, right? It might be human, actually. <laughs> the the yellow top here. Oh boy. Yeah, it's actually human, not not Kyuri. Could have been both of them, uh, but just one after another. But the yellow top for sure is human. Here. Hmm. Hanjong in the blue hat. 
Hey, Santa. I've seen this dance before. I'm, I'm certain. This gets you moving, though. That is Soyeon with the high notes, kind of. Like, not high note, but the power vocal. Here. Mm. Not surprising, honestly, but good to know. She's she's amazing. I always remember her in that uh, Da Vici uh, call that I've read to a while back. Uh, I don't even remember the name of that song right now, but it was fantastic. And Soyeon was in there and she was slaying. God, I want to join them. They look so fun. They look fun to be around. <laughs> mm. Human is really great in this one. Hi, Andrew. But this now, right, with the green top right now, and then here in the center, I'm pretty sure this now is Kiri. I think, yeah, it has to be, right? And with the orange hat, by the way, is Boram, but she doesn't really have much center at all in the song so far. I love this dance. Ah, oh, man. Tiara's just a master of that. I'm gonna talk about it for a second. I could have done that at the end, but I just wanna do it right now. And I've said this many times before, and it's very obvious, so I guess sometimes I just don't talk about it, but Tiara's the master of having somewhat very simple choreos, but making them work, you know, being very effective in a way. So their choreos, their dances are so catchy, and so they stick in your brain because they are simple, but they're easy to follow, right? But they still look fun. They just kind of get you moving and they fit to the song so well. So, yeah, I, when it comes down to it, if I have to talk about it and like quickly explain to someone what I mean by that and what I think about Yara Karius, I think they're essentially very simple, but super effective and super fun. So, in a way, they're simple and fun and in that way effective because having a fun choreo and that still looks good and enjoyable and you know like doesn't look cheap in a way and too simple uh, while still being kind of a simple choreo it's very hard so that's why i'm calling it effective right they're just the masters of making a simple choreo look great basically i oh, love that so much about them it's a bit loud by the way i just noticed hey what's so young yeah. So this was Soyeon. Hmm. Oh, now I want to know that Haina though. In the back. Not sure if I'm going to ever find out though. Unless you guys tell me. Okay, human. Got you, my so that's human, okay. So yon. Yes. Human rapping. In two? One jump? I don't know. <laughs> no, that looks more like Curie. The white hat. Or Gion? Oh, God damn it, dude. No, not like this. I earlier knew who had the white hat. I think it was Gion, though, because she has a similar pink hat as well. I'm just gonna go uh, with the guest Gion, so human Gion, the, the rappers in the song. Jesus, man, it, it feels wrong to say that, so. Pardon. I tried. <laughs> Reeling us in. <laughs> he just pushed them in. 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. So, wait. Oh, there is so. Never mind. It was not Gion. Uh, so I'm guessing that's just Kiri, I guess, on the far right then. So, who do we have? Right? We have. Um, God, I don't know, man. I know Boga must do one of the pinkish top here, and they're like, she's really tiny, right? Uh, next to her, Soyeon on the left. Then next to her on the left, I'm I'm guessing that could be Unjung. Um, but Unjung could also be the one in center right now, waving. Jin, of course, with the pink hat. And I'm pretty sure Kiri is the one on the far right. So uh, I'm, I'm probably right now having a problem between Unjung and Kiri. Um, but Unjung's hair is a bit different than Kiri. Kiri is much more volume, so... Don't know, though. But Soyon, Buram, and whoever the waving girl is right now, they got kicked in. <laughs> so fun. Oh man. Summer version, by the way, is the other name for this. Yeah. Summer version. Oh, it came out in November, though. Wait, oh, this was a re upload, never mind. Re upload it. <laughs> this is song. This song is so depressing. Yet they're having fun on a water park, smiling and having water gun fights. True. <laughs> Top comment here. Very true. Huh. So um, from like I'm not so sure if this is okay. <clears throat> We're gonna look this up, right? But. I am aware that this is very early on Tiara, but is this actually the debut song? I'm not sure. It is, it is, it is. Okay. Okay, so this is actually a debut song. Um, okay, never mind. I was kind of like reading stuff wrong then from what... Uh... Okay, I guess... Okay, I just read that wrong. Sorry. Um, but let's talk about it now. So, this is the debut song, and Manu told me also that people obviously didn't know Tiara, they just debuted, and uh, this is a very different style, apparently, for what was around in 2009, and um, people were, like, kind of very intrigued by that, because it's so different, so that's why they got very interested in Tiara, because, yeah, they just, they, I just said it, they were very different. So, that's a cool, cool side fact. Um, this is basically the song that Makes sense, kicked, started their career. It obviously isn't a breakthrough song. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> but it is absolutely one of the most important ones. You know, it debu de debuted with this. Uh, they introduced a very different style to the scene. And people got uh, intrigued and interested through that. So I think this definitely holds very, very big importance to their career uh, early on. Okay, so what do I think about the song overall? I think it's super fun. Obviously, the lyrics are sad, as someone said in the comment section. You know, it's about uh, basically someone lying all the time and uh, not being very truthful. And the, let's just say it's a guy, right? In the music video, we had the guy acting that. So it's a relationship. The guy is not very truthful. The girl here was one of the members. I forgot who it is or wasn't even sure who it is. But um, yeah, one of the members at least. She's the girlfriend and she still keeps being together with him, either good faith or just, you know, can't really comprehend that it's lies all the time. So she she seems like blind for love in a way. But then towards the end of the music video, of course, if you guys remember, um, she finally resisted and she finally, you know, broke through that and, you know, moved on or at least ditched him. I'm not sure if that's moving on, but uh, took the first step towards moving on, I guess. So that's kind of like the song meaning from my understanding. Definitely that's that's more like a sad connotation. I wouldn't necessarily call it sad. It's more like, you know, it's a negative experience, I guess. It's not sad per se. That just happens in life, right? And uh, it's unfortunate for sure, but it's not necessarily something I would call sad. But then, of course, it's either way very different and contrary to that. Uh, they have this part two summer version where they have fun in a water park. So that's really cool because honestly, to me, the song sounds very fun and it is very fun to listen to. If I wouldn't know the lyrics, I wouldn't consider this a sad or 
yeah, a song about something negative, right? Um, sure, we have the title, so we can assume that it's about that, but yeah, just the sound of it doesn't really give me that impression. So it's cool to have this different version, because I feel like this summer version actually represents the sound much more than the first one. You know, the first one feels more like it's talking about the lyrics of the song, whereas the second is kind of like the feeling of the song, if that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But it is my reaction to Tiara's Lie, part one and part two. This is their debut song once again, and um, this one was a bit of a chaotic reaction. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Honestly, I was not very good with the members, which is a very regrettable. I, yeah, don't like that about myself, you know, that I couldn't name them well. But this is what it is, I guess. Um, so can't be too mad about it anymore. And let's end it here. If you um interested in more, you know, I have a playlist with all of my Tiara versions. I have reacted to a lot of Tiara, probably more than anyone on YouTube. I would assume so. Um, definitely. Uh, there's some live stage reactions and album reviews on my Patreon for Tiara. If you're interested in those, I can't do those on YouTube. But yeah, the playlist to Tiara in the comment section. And see you in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day. Don't lie. Not as much as least because everybody lies, but not as much and definitely not these big lies, you know, in relationships and stuff. But yeah, you get the point. Have a nice day. Peace.